Hello everyone, this is Cody, your dear love ninja. -ineer. Welcome to Python Zero! If you have no knowledge about programming at all, like if you don't even know how to write Python or programming, you're in the right spot, I believe me. Um, today I will uh, give you an introduction of um, how to install the Python environment, which is frequently used for uh, scientific computations and stuff like that. And even for scripting language um, for post processors. Okay, so um, which Python to use? It's there are many distributions you can download them. Um, I uh, tried almost all of them because everyone uses them and asks me uh, frequent times a few questions regarding the distributions. So um, what I came up was um, I tried WinPython, Python X Y. Um, and more, but uh, I really love Anaconda Python, um, and I highly recommend it. I had the least problems with Anaconda Python so far. Um, with e every other distribution so far, um, I sometimes uh, hit a wall. So um, you can simply uh, download it. Just Google it, Anaconda Python download, and uh, <laughs> now comes the famous and legendary questions: Which Python version to download? <laughs> Because, I don't know, like everyone has his preferences and uh, it's like a never-ending fight. Uh, but um, I would recommend uh, two things. Like uh, currently, I would say Python 3 and 2, they're different. Okay, so um, a little bit in syntax and also internally, but um, most scripts will run on, on both environments. Um, so sad... Uh, for people who do not uh, want to upgrade their Python uh, every half a year or something like that, I recommend Python 2.7. It's just for the lazy guy who does sometimes a little bit of scripting. Um, it should be already most sufficient. Um, for you guys, um, yeah, I would say it was not worth changing from 2.7 for me um, until now to 3. Point something. Um, but uh, after I read the changes for 3.7 which is um, currently in progress um, yeah I most probably will switch to uh, 3.7 from uh, 2.7 finally but before it was not worth it and I think for most people um, who are not so deep into it like me um, it really doesn't matter which version you use so um, on the go maybe you go best with uh, 2.7 so far if you just download it here um, you will get this uh, this uh, install file from Anaconda, and um, of course you get this uh, install uh, wizard. And uh, let's get through a little bit. Um, just click through. I don't know for you who want to install it. Um, doesn't really matter. What matters is when you come to this window here. Um, you have to make a choice uh, whether whether you want to register um, Anaconda as your default Python and for everyone I highly recommend it who has um, no Python at all because uh, this will enable that in your console and when you type Python you will um, in, uh, call this version here. For people with multiple versions like me I usually register only the the main Python which I need. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit dependent, but for everyone, just keep this tagged and then just install the install. I uh, will just unzip the files. I won't install it here because I have already installed it. And uh, what you will get then is, um, oh yeah, of course, how to get started. Maybe the most important thing. Uh, once you have downloaded this Anaconda Python and installed it, um, what you can do is uh, you need to open a console uh, or a command prompt here. Um, and you can simply do it. Um, if you have a folder here in the Explorer, if you do right click, um, okay, there is no um, like console option here. It should be around this section here. But um, if you press left shift and right click, you get this here, this option to open a command prompt and then um, it opens up, but on my other desktop so far. Okay, here we are. Um, really nice. Okay. Um, when you are in this command prompt, uh, you can simply test whether it installed right by uh, typing Python. And then what should happen is you open an interactive Python shell. It's really nice um, when you call Python without 
um, any any script or something like that it goes into an interactive shell and it's like MATLAB for those people familiar with it um, you can simply uh, directly invoke uh, commands and get a response instantaneously um, I use it for testing purposes mostly if I don't understand um, commands or something like that or more difficult operations I test them in an interactive shell so I get a direct response Okay, um, and of course we are currently in this folder. Um, you can create some uh, if you if you want to create a, a, of course not an op open document file. If you want to create a, a script, simply create a text document. Uh, I don't know. Let's call it script.py. Okay, and um, what you can actually do is. Um, yeah, it's just a text file. Uh, everyone knows um, that uh, programming is just um, yeah a text file, and you can write your program like uh, in Python, the most famous um, "Hello World" print. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just call the script like uh, you type Python, and then you just call the script um, with its name and. Uh, you see it executed and it just printed hello world. When this is working, um, your environment is set up. And uh, yeah, just uh, follow me and I will show you the deepest depth and uh, darkest areas of this really, really useful scripting languages. It definitely has its strength in syntax and usability and everything, but also its weaknesses, which most people uh, unfortunately forget about. Okay, see you next time.